I was uh, taking care of my mom with Alzheimer's for quite a few years, 17 in fact, and uh, during that time, it was impossible to play. She, she absolutely adored the sound of the piano, especially in what she called the belly and the bass of the piano. But nonetheless, in Alzheimer's, you know, the sounds begin, pleasant sounds even, become difficult to, to understand and difficult for her to process. And so when I tried in the off moments to play a little bit, it would just agitate her completely. So all my playing and learning and expression came through listening. The homage is a transcription, which is to say its original form is in another composer, in Bach. Um, and a transcription is simply one piece that has been lifted and given different clothes. Uh, transcriptions are absolutely glorious things because they answer the question, what if? I can ask the question, what did he mean here when he wrote this? Of course, the, the question is asked of me and the answer is highly subjective, but nonetheless, it's a wonderful question to ask because it changes timing, it changes key pressure, it changes dynamics, it, change, it changes everything. Ultimately, it changes us. The engagement of time in one sense with regard to music is, how, is really how long it takes to play the piece, technically. Um, the other engagement of time in all music um, performance and pra practice is how much time does it take or how much time is necessary to make the salient points of the piece, to get the message across from the piece, or the message that you, the performer, feel compelled to get across with the piece. If we observed real time, which is only now, and now, and now, and now, then everything takes on a different aspect completely. As a result of caregiving, my thinking had changed, my perception had changed, my timing had changed, my voicing, all this relating to pianism had changed. And so it became time for me to play this old friend as a new person. I had been changed in 20 years. And so the beauty, this, the very simple, almost naive beauty that I found in the homage earlier was now deeply rooted in a changed person. As fate would always have it, the thing that causes great joy is also the thing that causes great sorrow, and the reverse is true too. So while a caregiver, I couldn't touch my piano, but I learned about myself, and this piece summed up all of that learning. In the last year of her life, I was able to go back to the piano um, very cautiously, very carefully, because I just wanted to see if, in fact, all that I had learned about myself, all the questions that the piece had asked me uh, in this stage of my life, this new phase, were the answers real? Were they made believe? Is it all a dream? Um, had I, in fact, changed? Had my, my approach to the piano changed, as I thought it did? Um, so I went to the piano after I put her to bed and just tentatively touched the keys and always playing, but quietly, softly, but listening to hear, is it affecting her? And I didn't hear any negative response, so I kept playing. I ended up playing the piece every night for the next, uh, what, 11 months or so, as a lullaby. And so it became, through Wild. Bach was an homage to Poulenc, and in my humble hands, an homage to my mom.